Hi class. So we have our worksheet done. It is our development tool where we're going to allow people to enter contact information with input boxes. We'll save the data and then when they submit, we'll submit it to our worksheet that we keep track of all of these prospects in. Let's see, that part is hidden, so if we unhide prospect list, there's my Joe Smith prospect in our last. Okay. We've been working on our prospect recorder. Now, in order to use this, we really would probably see it being used by more than one person, right? You know, we could have some person that keeps track of everything. That's always a possibility. But in general, we're going to have different salespeople out on the road and people in different places that would want to keep track of this information. So we can set up this worksheet um, in many ways. We could share it and allow everybody to use the same version. We could send everybody one copy and then they could send it to a central location to have copies data together um, and key points. So we have lots of different options for sharing and collaborating on this workbook. So let's look at some. Before we do anything though, we want to protect it because we don't want our users over here changing any of this data or doing anything that would modify the way our application because we have all the code going and everything for our work. So um, let's do our developer. We want to make sure we're not in design. Looks good. Now let's go to our backstage view and do our options. And in our options, we want to look at our advanced options. And we want to look at the items that we do with just for this work. Where we have Joe Page Break. And show a zero and sells the zero value. We want to make sure those are unchecked. Already unchecked. So that's good. Now I want to check our view setting. And when we have somebody that's in here entering data, we don't want them to see all of the lines, so we're going to turn all of these things off. So that we just have a clean view of that worksheet. We want to collapse our ribbon. We're really maximizing this space here. <coughs> now let's go to our review tab. And on our review tab, we want to protect our sheet. We're going to give this sheet a pop. So our password is going to be prospect17, where the P is uppercase. E R O S P E C T 17. And when I click OK, it should prompt me for that password again. O S B E C T T. And now we have protected our worksheet. Let's press the F5 key to bring up the Go To dialog, and we want to go to L J A. Now, if you notice, they aim up one, right? So we're going to be positioning the cursor basically <clears throat> here at this first button, ready for them to click to say that they're ready to 
information. So now we can save our work. We have all these settings set the way we want it, or whenever our users open it, we can use it. Now before we send it out to others, we probably want to test it. We absolutely want to. So we're going to make sure that everything works properly. So they've given us a couple of test records to enter. Ready, I'm going to click this one. There it goes. <clears throat> I'm having trouble with that. I'm sure you're not. Now our first one, last name is Derringer. Kevin. 572 Birch Street. <clears throat> Clayton, North Carolina. Set 27520. Five 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 dash five 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 dash one two one two. Hey, Derringer at sccs dot com. All right, so that filled in all of our data up here at the top. Got our data row down here working. So now we're ready to do the um, radio button selections. And he wants home and media and anti hypotensive. So then I'll should have. Well, look, we can't even unhide that anymore, can we? Sneaky. Either way, not. So I'll go back to step one. Second data item is Shum Glory 31 Windsor Road, Parkville, Maryland. Two point two three four five 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 one three one three L Shoom at SC series dot com. Okay, and then this person is just email. Great show event and anti inflammatory and anti. And we're going to submit their Awesome. So now we can't see it in this data entry mode that we would put our users in. But of course, we could go back and unprotect the spreadsheet because we know the password. We could see what's going on. And they said we should be able to. There it is. I was just looking right on hide. And you should see our new date. There's the two new entries that we added. Cool. Hmm. Let's go ahead and hide. So we've done some testing. We've set this up to be protected so that there can't be any accidental problems. As you see, no, they can basically change nothing. They can use the radio buttons. Other than that, it's all automated. Scenes, 
the user data is all controlled with input. Now, whenever we're working with sharing and collaborating with others, there are really three ways. The first option is to distribute the workbook, workbook to others. Um, and then we can, I say, make individual changes and send it back to a central location to be combined. The second option is to with our lab by sharing the workbook using the sharing feature in Excel. And that's where we have something saved on a network people can access the same exact file and they're being able to share that. Now another third option is to collaborate interactively with other people through like discussion threads or online meetings. So SharePoint services are part of Office that allows people at different sites to share and exchange files. So we would be able to get pretty involved in fancy with that. We can share our workbook using the share workbook on review tab. I can see the unshare, so I'm assuming it's because it's protected. Mm -hmm, let's see. I am still not seeing a share. I'm going to protect that thing again. Now, I want to the share button on the backstage menu because I'm not seeing the sharing on the review tab. And that might just be because I don't have my workbook saved in a location that's available for sharing. So I could up do my OneDrive. And then I can share by sending a link or sending a copy. And if I send a link, we'll be working on the same version of the spreadsheet. If I send a copy, they'll be getting their own copy, and we'll have to merge those copies together to get all. Okay, so that's a great way to save and share using your OneDrive. And see it's a little bit different than what they show in the text.
So you will have to work with your sewing options. But you can see how you can share with people using their email address in your OneDrive. Now, working together like that on the same workbook at the same time can improve efficiency, right? Because now everybody um, is seeing up-to-date data and things are working and flowing the way they should. Collaboration with other users is easy to do. So let's take a look at some of the things that we would want to do to enable. First of all, we can add our sales data, sales analysis. Let's go to the V. And In our ribbon here, keep it open. Formula bar. We're missing that. All right, let's go to our review tab and click share. This was a changes to read. Did I not? Something is obviously moved because we don't have the share. We don't have changes group at all. So I'm going to stop the video and try to figure out what's going on.